guys, it's Nathan Ryan here. It's the new year, and you know what that means. I love cliches. Welcome to New Year, New Me. So let's see the new me. Yeah, right. Yearly Video Games, a game from a franchise that gets a new entry every year. Some notable ones come to mind, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, Just Dance, Pokemon it feels like it, but one type of game is probably more notable than the others. Sports games. First of all, what's a sport? Huh? A sport is an activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against another or others for entertainment. By that definition, anything can be a sport. Washing your car, toasting bread, going to the 50% sale at the mall to buy a pillow of Danny DeVito, golf, and Dora's journey to the purple planet, I'm going too far. Sports have been being turned into video games ever since video games existed. Mattel created a football game out of Staples Extra Calculators. The first notable sports video game was Pong, an adaption of table tennis. With the limited capabilities of the hardware at the time, the way they simulated tennis was a square and two lines. They should make a TV show out of this. The Atari 2600 had the real sports series. They weren't confusing basketball as a fake sport. It is very real. But sports games became more popular during the NES era. The black box NES games had a boodle to sports titles. Baseball, tennis, golf, soccer, it had it all. Except for toasting bread. If you were asked for Super Mario Bros for Christmas, you would probably get ice hockey as well. Near the end of the 80s came one of the games that changed sports games. John Madden's Football, an NFL football game for PC. Not only was it a football game, but it started something. The yearly sports game. Early sports and video games are just like the beginning of a human life. Every year you age a bit more and look a bit different. Here's me from age 8 to 9. For all I know, this could be my uncle. Now here's a picture from age 15 to 16. I can't confirm, but this one's me. John Madden's football was eventually released on the SNES and Sega Genesis, and after that, every Madden was given a year. The 90s is where yearly video games started to catch on. This is all thanks to EA, who makes majority of the sports games you see today. Alongside Madden, they started making NHL games, then NBA games, and then in the 2000s, FIFA, PGA Tour, UFC, and even NASCAR. And in the late 90s, 2K stepped in the yearly sports craze with NBA games. They also made NFL games and NHL games, but the NBA has been one of their only consistent sports game franchises. I personally have the most attachment to the NHL games because I'm Canadian and hockey and Tim Hortons were shoved down our throats since we were kids. These have been coming out for the past 30 years, so each entry is different from the last, right? Well here's a question, did I look different from the ages 15 to 16? Differences are a joke to these games, if you bought NHL 20, you bought NHL 19, which means you bought NHL 18, 17, and 16. So yeah, these games are the same, but why are they the same? These are the most unoriginal video game box arts ever. Get a random sports background, find a popular athlete, slap the logo with the year near the bottom, and that's it. In recent years, they had a single color background. Wow, they keep getting lazier with these. I mean, it does its job advertising the sport you're trying to buy, but it's nothing interesting. But EA changed it once again for the 2021 releases of these games, and... Yeah, I use pic collage. They all look the same! The graphics in these games represent the sport really nicely. I mean, this is soccer. And the athletes... Ugh. These do accurately represent the actual people. When I'm looking at Austin Matthews, I'm looking at Austin Matthews, but... Ugh. There's not much I can say. These represent their sport, but they do it really, really well, and you honestly feel like you're actually playing the sport at times. Come on! You know the classic saying, every athlete is a voice actor at heart. You want to hear another one? Lying's great. The voice acting is horrible in these games. It obviously isn't their profession, and it shows. Usually these sports have some sort of career mode, so you know what it's like to be a professional athlete. I already know how that feels. Yeah. And with that, we get this. All right, because if I have to learn anything, it's that you have to tune out the noise. That's right. We all have the attitude. The train will be rolling in no time. Let's do it. Who have thought? About what? That a young buck like you could actually do the right thing and avoid getting his sorry buck kicked out the game. Back. He told me to chill. 
Sound like a wise fella to win in this league. You need all hands on deck. Good call. Check it. Yo, what's going on tonight? I'm running free all over the court and you didn't give me the ball. Man, what are you talking about? I'm talking about making sure I get my touches, yo. Move the ball, share it with your teammates. Make the extra pass so that we can get easy looks. You got it? Homeboy was running threes down on these fools. Bam, bam, bam. One after another. They'll lose track of you and boom, another one. I can't believe they missed out on an opportunity to get this guy for Croods too. It's almost like they... Hey man, we're gonna win this thing. Don't worry about it. Happy New Year 2018, everybody! Oh, shoot! It's September 29th, 2017. Why does this keep happening? The years on these games can be really confusing. The way it works is that each year's new sports game gets released is next year's, but released around the fall. It's not a bad thing, but can be really confusing for some parents. One specific example is Madden 25. This was released to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the Madden franchise. And yeah, that makes sense. But what happens when they actually get to the year 2025? What are we gonna do? And with that all jumbled together, I can now say, even though I've already said it, sports games are all the same. What did you expect? Some pre-existing video game character to be playing sports? Oh, 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 oh! I don't think sports games will change anytime soon. They're fine for what they're trying to do. Be sports. Okay, I had enough of sports games for now. I need to find something else to do to pass the next eight minutes of my time. So I downloaded a time travel off my phone just to see what it'll look like in the future. Let's just plop a photo in real quick. And let's see what it'll look like in the year 2065. I figured out immortality! 